I coped by myself. I didn't know where to go to speak to people with similar conditions. At the time, I coped by myself. Yeah. And no one should have to cope by themselves. My name is Sophia. I'm a mother of two children. Uh, my children are both adults. Um, I've been with my husband uh, for over two decades. I live in London. I'm currently um, uh, an assistant head teacher in a secondary school and my primary science is chemistry. Well, my husband and I um, have always been interested in genetic tests. He was the first one that introduced it to me. Um, getting that report back was a bit of a shock for my family to have um, the genetic marker of HATTR amyloidosis uh, with myself and also with my sister who later decided to also have a private genetic test done. Well prior to having the genetic test um, I was referred several times to the neurology department um, over a course of four years. Um, I decided to not pursue that any further um, I sort of knew something wasn't quite right, but um, I don't like being a burden to our healthcare system, so to speak. I know it's tough for them, so I um, decided to leave it. So when I got the genetic test and I had the results from that genetic test, I pursued it with my general pra uh, practitioner. And with the general practitioner, she um, wanted proof and to give her that proof um, I um, had to produce the genetic report and give it directly to her. The only person that can really help you is the doctors, the nurses, your brothers, sisters, aunties and uncles who have this stigma around the medical profession needs to be put aside. So if you believe you have symptoms for this condition, if you are convinced that something's not right, you have to have that courage to go and see them and you have to persevere until you get the outcome that you're satisfied with. So I'm grateful, I am grateful. I want to be part of any future research. I want to be like the living embodiment of, of what and how this condition can change with treatment. I want to be oh, an ambassador, yeah, I don't want to be the patient in the centre just going with the times and listening to all this information and X, Y and Z, no, I, I want to be in it and what better way to be in it than to share that with others as well and then they'll believe. <laughs>